Okay. <clears throat> so, in the angular momentum series, this is our next uh, topic. How is spin matrix? Topic name is All is pin matrices. So before going into the Pauli spin matrices and their property, I want to tell you something about this for Pauli spin matrices. The last class we discussed about the matrix property. Orbital angular momentum in a so if you look at the orbital and spin angular momentum, as I said in the orbital and spin angular momentum, if you apply this j square of x on this equation, then we can get this equation right. Similarly, if you apply j or s z operator on this quantum state, we get mh cross to this quantum state. If you try to apply this uh, matrix supplementation formula on notation, here we got uh, a in notation as z. Okay, 1 divided by s z is equal to h cross y to 1, 0. Like that, if you apply sx. Uh, x, if you want s x, uh, s x and s y, you need to add s plus and s minus value. Then you can try to get a s x max. So the s x is equal to h cross two by two. So zero, one, one, zero. Okay. This similar way s y equal to s y. You can consider uh, uh, you try to add s plus minus s j divided by 2 i so h cross divided by 0 minus i i 0 so these are the in half matrices all the half system is s equal to 1 divided by 2 h cross okay 0, 1, 1, 0. This is Sx. This is Sy. So h cross divided by 2, 0 minus i, i, 0. And yes, z equal to h cross divided by 2, 1, 0, 0 minus 1. So this matrix I am going to write like this. H cross divided by two sigma. So this is the matrix two by two matrix, right? So where sigma is in case sigma x. 0, 1, 1, 0. Sigma y 0 minus i i 0. Okay. Sigma z 1, 0, 0 minus 1. The matrix sigma x, sigma y, sigma z are called. All is spin matrix. Okay. From the definition, it is observed that their eigen values are plus or minus one, and these matrices are strictly follow the some unique properties. 
So therefore, so here the S X X Y and S Z these were called some spin half systems. The most of the stable elementary particles like uh, electrons, protons, neutrons, etc., comes under the category spin half system category. Spin half system. Okay. Spin half systems category. The eigen values of uh, all the matrices are plus or minus one. Okay. Properties of these uh, all the matrices very important. Properties of uh, all these spin matrices so number one their matrices are square second one the eigen values of all the three matrices are plus or minus both were their squares are unitary unity which means sigma square equal to i these matrices x bit anti commutation relation sigma x sigma y plus equal to 0 So I'm going to solve these properties important sigma square, sigma x square, sigma y square, sigma z square equal to i or 1 that is here unitary product of uh, two polymers. This is product theory is in norm squared by this is i sigma z. Sigma that is equal to I sigma x. Sigma z sigma x equal to sigma y. Okay. Next. Anti computation relations. Sigma y sigma x equal to sigma y sigma z plus sigma z sigma y equal to sigma z z no x sigma x sigma z equal to zero the first property if you try to follow this square like this see what is sigma x 
sigma x sigma x right so if you try to solve this one sigma x square is equal to sigma x a x right 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 so therefore sigma x square equal to 1 0 0 1 this is unity similarly sigma y square equal to i sigma z square equal to i for example this is the another property sigma square equal to sigma x square plus sigma y square plus sigma z square sigma x square is equal to uh, we know already 1 0 okay 0 1 so this is also 1 0 0 1 plus this is also 1 0 0 1 sigma square equal 3 0 0 3 So therefore, this one sigma square equal to 3i. Okay. Next property is sigma x sigma product. Okay. That equal to Zero one sigma x right one zero zero minus i i zero right sigma y value then this one i zero zero minus that equal to i into one zero zero minus one this is uh, sigma z Therefore, product of two is a poly matrix i sigma z. In case, for example, sigma y sigma x, if you try to multiply this, then you can get minus i sigma z. So these are the some important uh, unique properties of poly matrices. Okay. Only poly matrices follow these rules. These properties unique. Just commutation relation. So I can finish here. Okay. Sigma x, sigma y. So what is this commutation? So anti commutation relations is equals to zero. You want to you can try now y sigma x the combination is another property okay what is sigma x 0 1 1 0 sigma y 0 minus i i 0 minus 0 minus i i 0 x value 0 1 one zero okay i zero zero minus i minus minus i zero zero i that equal to two i zero zero minus two i Therefore, we can write two i here is one zero zero minus. So this is sigma x sigma y equal to two i sigma. Z.
these are the computational relation similarly i can say sigma x and sigma y sigma z computational relations so we can easily get sigma z comma sigma x that equal to 2i sigma y so the order sigma x sigma y sigma z if you follow this two okay then you can get plus in case any disorderness is there then you can get <coughs> another important property of Pauli's matrices that uh, Pauli matrices where is commit with their components okay sigma square is commit with uh, each component of it. these are the important properties and the power is spin half systems the spin half systems we can call the uh, sx and s and represented sx is equal to customer these are the in house systems and max sigma v sigma these are called all these spin matrices these are the very important of all these spin matrices and one more thing here same type of properties uh, are a bit there and the properties like similar properties are there four by four matrix this uh, here are uh, four by four matrices so this is all about police in matrices and their important properties so next class i'm going to discuss in half maybe and after that uh, some easy question